bit like being the outer, which is your dominant, and the inner, which is your more secretive, more personal side. So right hand usually is your extrovert side, and the left hand is more your introvert. And it's swapped over if you're left hand. And uh, the other bit about your hand is the little finger is very wide here, and that space, as we know with Fern over here, shows you a little bit of a drama queen. So, uh, That's not true, is it, Kim? Don't act up too no. much. I just had to fetch a patch of meal. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, your thumbs particularly are very, very different. They've got an unusual print on the thumb, and this right. shows great originality. Oh, so, good. you know, new ideas, lots of new ideas. Try them all out. Is that true, Kim? Yeah, that's really true. <laughs> is it? Are you a dancer then? Yeah, I dance every day. How really? about that? Oh, that is amazing. Thank He's you very point. much for sending in your palm okay. print. Back of the okay. net. Take care, Kim. Thanks. Bye. 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 Hello, now welcome back. We've invited three viewers to be to the studio even to be put to the test by Palm Miss Robin Lown. Does it work? Right. Does it work? Well, the test is now, isn't it, really? We're going to have another test, so, In, so it so does like, work. Is it quite... What, what do you do with it? Do you predict the future? Or is it, it like a personality it, thing? It really comes down to personality, but within that, it's all genetic anyway. So if it's genetics that are playing its part, mm. then it is being predictive. They actually say, no, you can tell behaviour through genetics. So. You've seen Robin's tie? You <laughs> noticed it? Oh, no, yeah, I uh, noticed You didn't notice last time. He said, you're the graphologist, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. I really hate the fact that I've got funny feet. Feet are ugly anyway, but I think mine are especially bad because my little toes just sit on top of the ones next to them and don't move at all. Even when I wiggle my toes, they just stay completely stationary. Look. If we look at the shape of people's feet, particularly the overall shape, whether they have high or low arches, the low arch indicates someone who's a realist, their feet are closer to the ground, they're more earthy. Can you believe that you can find all of that out just by looking at my feet? <laughs> I'm here. Hello. <laughs> who have you found? Oh, I'm with this lovely lady called Vanessa who's got such a lovely coat. I asked where she got it and I said, well, can I borrow it? And she said, no. <laughs> Being a Leo, I think. Um, anyway, we have a wonderful hand here, and uh, it is a very, very, what I call a fairly long and wide hand. People like this often are great thinkers, and they do consider things. Big gaps in here shows that she's very creative and expressive, and uh, I do believe that she likes to, uh, to, to speak a lot. <laughs> We've got a great deal of sensitivity pads here, which does show that she is what extremely kind of sensitive, sensitive to touch, and sensitive in emotions as well. All week we've been looking at the future of the monarchy. The Queen, Charles and Camilla and Prince William, they've all been the subject of some rather interesting predictions. So let's take a look for those first. He will get married and I think it'll be in his early 30s uh, and I think it'll be the once only. And will he be a good king? I think that's uh, stonkingly good. In fact, where it ends up is I think first class statesman. So when's he going to meet and get married? Can you give uh, us a date? Mm, I think age? it'll be, well, 30s, 32. Right, and be king? I'll be king, 35. Tell us something we don't know, but you've, you've both been very specific about dates. Tell us something about what you said. Well, I, I feel that uh, Charles will lead and be king, but it's going to be a, sh a short 10 years. I feel then that uh, he will be coaching his son, who is going to be the new face of the monarchy, and he will then come to the front, forefront. And give us a timing for and that. And I think Charles can. will act as a kind of ambassador and support all the way along. Um, and I believe about age 35. So are you saying that Charles will be king and will then step down? Not a matter of stepping of down son. as such, it's a matter more of a double act, almost a support. And that is what I see in William's hand, because the two supporting lines are there. Yeah, yeah I can talk you through a bit here. Uh, definitely these are dancers type hands. You've got a very low thumb. If you've got a very low thumb on your hand, this, this space here being wide, you Can are going to be dancey anyway. Uh, the other part about your hand is too, you've got very long lines here. Yes. The head line, this is the middle line. The, run, the one round the thumb is the life line. Yes. And the one above it is the heart line. These show very strongly. If they're very strong in people's hands, it's good health. And particularly people who have got great amount of energy. So go for it with, you know, a big go. Um, I have here on my notes the smallish fine features uh, easily overdoes it, extremely talkative, works at projecting an image, good family connections helping early career development, oversensitive, especially to criticism, <laughs> an adventurous spirit in all that, upholds but fights against family values in the sense that she's had to be constrained but will break out, she keeps breaking out, and uh, wants to do things her own way, has a wonderful gift of humour, and uh, making light of things which are sometimes quite difficult. 
Something happened round about age 38. Uh, a loss of some kind caused her to reevaluate her life and lots of changes. Oh. Um, I've got a, a, a girdle here on the print indicating, girdle. yes, it's called a girdle. Girdle of Venus, <laughs> very hypersensitive, very oversensitive indeed. <laughs> that was very good. Was it? Yes, yes. What were the things good. that particularly sort of... Um, um, obviously... Around 30, I had my little girl. Oh, right. Now, you're the, the palmist, obviously, yes. and you, you use it more as a science than a psychic ability? I do, because uh, most of it's genetic reading, but and also uh, the hand does change because uh, we have free will. OK, this person's got bags of energy, and she's uh, an unusual person because there's two sides to her nature. You think she's uh, a lady? She's, yes. Uh, oh, she oh, she took true. off in her 30s, uh, great support from mum, family and the dog. Um, <laughs> she's a presenter, interviewer type, loves to talk, strong ego. Uh, she's friendly, oversensitive, she's all heart. She works hard to overcome some shyness, which she had earlier on in her years. Uh, last ten years she's been in the media, last three years been busy, difficult emotionally, but uh, she works very hard. It's actually Denise Welsh who oh. is, or has just left Coronation Street. Uh, however, looking at the, well, we say cast in stone, this lady has been moving around a bit, sort of like the moving target's harder to hit. Mm. There have been three kind of shifts or jobs here, and uh, we've come into quite difficult times a, a few years ago. I, I reckon you're in your 40s. Yes, I'm afraid And <laughs> it looks to me there are better times ahead, uh, but it's a bit more patience and there are some shifts in the lines here indicating possible uh, move which you don't like to do easily mm. uh, and there will be some distinct changes here. You specialise in children's, kiddies, palmistry. Explain yes, I do. <laughs> it started a long time ago. I was a teacher, so I got used to looking at children's hands from very early on, even my own, and tracking them through the years. So I had that kind of context many, many years ago. There is some kind of sort of scientific. Um, oh, there is a scientific back up basis. Oh, definitely. Right. I okay. mean, we know quite a lot of things now. Things are being shown through science that, uh, uh, for instance, children with a lot of world-shaped fingerprints. That's the, the circular swirly ones. Ones yeah. that go round and round, almost like a target. Right. Uh, there's a lot of children if they have predominant uh, whirls all the way through their patterns. That's Everybody's all. looking at you. Look at your whirls. Yeah. Look at your yes. whirls. Yeah. Uh, these we know are mm. connected to sometimes underweight children. Okay. Uh, and uh, those pads seem to grow, and later in life they are, have a predisposition to blood pressure and uh, hypertension. Right. What I noticed about Megan the straight away, yes, yeah. <laughs> uh, she's got a very large thumb as well, and there's a very broad gap here. This shows physicalness and ability to get into everything. Again, she's very physical, and she will get into rough and tumbles pretty quick. All children do, but she's quite happy to mix it a little. And she? she's mixing it with and the sweets she, oh, that they've got now. Megan, <laughs> it's your show, it's all about you. You're off and do what you like. That's it. Have some more sugar. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I noticed about Matthew, particularly his hand, the middle finger is much longer here, taller. And that shows a bit of a peak on his hand. Right. This is usually established uh, early on, and it gives a kind of... Um, not a, not a, I'm not saying grumpy nature, a reflective nature where they don't smile too quickly. And so he may look a little bit gruff. It's absolutely <laughs> fascinating. Thank you very much, Robin, and thanks for Robin Lowe, ladies and gentlemen. And giving you all the time. I'm a herd family. Stick around. You see, look at mine there, from there to there and there to there. The longest bit is here. Yours is the top piece. Very unusual. My eyes is to reach the C key on the keyboard. <laughs> yes, it probably would be. It's the lines running down here. The more that you have running around the side of the hand, the more relationships you're likely to have. He said to me about getting my own way, and that is quite true, because I'm not argumentative, but I just have to get my way. We're coming back in just a second with Robin Lown, who's a palm scientist, and we're already getting inundated with calls here. Where can we talk to him? Where can we find him? And all of this kind of stuff. He's causing the headline. headline, and uh, now we're down to lifelines. Lifeline. Well, the one round the thumb, anyway. That's the if one. If you've got a not very good lifeline, uh -huh. could you have plastic surgery on your palm print, and that make you have a really good one, a long one? Well, that's not so much of a joke. Criminals have tried to take off their fingerprints and peel off the skin, and they have skin grafts, only to realise later on down the line, about a month later, that the same print grows through. <laughs> uh, this one here, yes, this is from Louise. That's about her palm, then. Yeah, well, it's a bit smudgy. So, uh, you know, she could be a little bit smudgy as a person, but I don't think so. These are very, very strong lines here, and the strong lines, again, good health, Good healthy appetite, watch that food. But the little <laughs> finger is very low down in the hand and short. It shows sometimes you lack con some concentration. So really get with it, stick with it. Whatever you want to do in life, stick with it. 
And lastly, this thumb here is very close to the hand, so you can be a little bit shy, but the lines here next to the thumb show particularly that you are very much a person who is physical. You need to get out there and just go and do it. I want you to decide whether you've got square palms, elongated palms, now forget your fingers, you're just going to look at the palm shape, or you have particularly some other quirk in your palm.